This is big, breaking, emergency news. The U.S. military is now getting prepared for the big one. They're getting prepared for a major disaster, and they are running a major national disaster preparedness drill right now. Right, So this is something that we need to take serious. We need to be getting prepped for and ready for as well. Because when we see the military making preparations, we should follow. We should be making preparations too. Because it means that something big could be coming very soon. And they have advanced knowledge. And they are now doing trainings and simulations to prepare for this that could happen all right so let's dive into this news here all right really quick guys hit that like hit that subscribe for me i'm posting multiple times a day keeping you guys updated on this urgent news i posted earlier today some big breaking news check that out after this video but you can see here all right the national guard is getting ready for something big all right this is what staff sergeant said that was the head of this operation he said quote disasters like this bring a lot of chaos and you don't often know what to expect all right he said quote our goal is to make life easier for those affected by these disasters and to get them fed all right so they're preparing for a major disaster and this is something that could be nationwide this could affect the entire nation the repercussions and the reverberations that come from this disaster that they are getting ready for. It could have shockwaves throughout the entire country, right? We could see this and we could see hit after hit. This could be the start of a chain reaction of major disasters happening along the west coast of the United States, right? This could be the start of it. And they could know that something big is coming soon. All right, so let's dive into this news here. You can see here it says Alaska and Maine National Guard conduct disaster preparation exercise. They are getting ready for a mega earthquake to hit the United States and they are doing major drills for it right now. You can see here it says the National Guard's quote always ready and always there motto symbolizes its vigilant presence across the nation. In Alaska where natural disasters like earthquakes pose significant threats, a prompt and a coordinated response is paramount. It says exercise vigilant guard 2024 held in March assess the readiness of the Alaska National Guard and its partner agencies in such a crisis it says it simulated a massive 9.2 magnitude earthquake this is the wording on the national guard website this simulated a quote massive 9.2 magnitude earthquake with the epicenter in south central alaska and prince william sound the same area as the 1964 good friday earthquake it says approximately 350 participants from local, state, and federal government organizations work together to reinforce partnerships and preparedness in a joint interagency environment. All right, so they're getting ready for potentially a 9.2 mega quake to hit Alaska. All right, and you may not think, okay, it's just Alaska and it's outside of Anchorage, Alaska. It's actually not that far outside prince william sound so it could definitely affect them but one thing to understand is that this part of the earth is all connected it's all connected there's a belt that goes from alaska all the way down into mexico on the west coast and if we see a major quake hitting this part of alaska we could see this be the trigger point to have seismic activity all the way down this belt as we see realignments and readjustments of the plate tectonics, right? So this is very serious that they're getting ready for this. This could cause potentially a massive tsunami as well 
and this could trigger earthquakes going down into California and to Washington, Oregon, and potentially West Coast tsunami earthquakes could be triggered in the aftermath of this because we normally see things like this in clusters, all right? There's going to be one and then there's going to be reactionary earthquakes all the way down this belt, okay? So very serious they're getting ready for this and this is something that is not thought about enough in preparedness is that these earthquakes could be life altering. They could wipe out the entire grid. They could cause massive tsunamis that wipe out entire cities and entire regions. And if they're big enough, they could even flood entire parts of the country and coastal plano regions could be completely underwater from a big enough tsunami if it has enough time to accumulate force and accumulate mass all right so very serious and they're getting ready for it they're getting ready for it you can see here it says the scenarios were executed over five days with damaged infrastructure in the municipality of anchorage city of cordova and the city of valdez and throughout the kenai peninsula borough the simulated earthquake also triggered tsunami waves in Cordova, Valdez, and KPD. All right, so very serious. They are worried about this. And I'm telling you, this belt that's attached to the North American Kraton is going to be very unstable after there's a 9.2 mega quake. We're going to see those shock waves move down the belt to alleviate that disruption right and potentially this could even trigger things like yellowstone as well right i'm not saying it's going to but it's there yellowstone's always in the background when these major seismic activity events happen in north america it says during the simulation the state emergency operations center was activated and the alaska national guard joint operations center to aid in relief efforts across the state with personnel from the Alaska Organized Militia as well. There were also personnel from the Alaska Army National Guard, Alaska Air National Guard, Alaska Naval Militia, Alaska State Defense Force, and the Alaska Civil Air Patrol. All right, and it says during these natural disasters, Natural Guard units supplement first responders and civilian law enforcement in several ways. In this scenario, service members conducted aerial surveillance, delivered medical supplies and food, and transported patients and rescued victims. All right, so this is very serious. They're preparing for this. And check this out. This just happened today as well. There was a 5.8 earthquake that hit Japan's Fukushima, right? This just happened, and we know that this... Fukushima event was disastrous for years, releasing this toxic wastewater into the ocean and polluting the sea life around it. And these isotopes, these radioactive isotopes were washing up on U.S. shores, and they still are a little bit, but they were bombarding our western coast beaches for years, and they were even showing up in the food supply and things like grapes that and they still are in grapes from that year when fukushima hit the first time the big one a lot of these grapes still have these radioactive isotopes inside of them from the water right serious this was reported on mainstream news right so they're they're getting prepared for a big one and if this hits a nuclear reactor inside the united states this could cause a mass evacuation, a shelter in place scenario, whole host of different scenarios that they could activate if it causes any problems with a reactor. Okay. And the other side of this is that there are potential weapons that militaries have, the US military and potentially even foreign militaries. And they there have been hints to this as well of potential earthquake like weapons that can simulate earthquakes and potentially even excite earthquakes with magnetic fields and 
magnetic frequencies, right? There is a, it's not 100%, right? But the theory is there and there is actually a lot of evidence surrounding it that militaries around the world potentially have these earthquake-like weapons that can excite or amplify earthquakes that they know are going to happen. Maybe they amplify them something along those lines because there have been very extreme earthquakes just recently there's been a lot of them think of turkey last year complete devastation that hit there and that's the level that they're preparing for here and there was a lot of weird suspicious things going on with turkey weird cloud formations in the sky for days going on weird lightning going on um coming from turkey right during the earthquake all the stuff not saying it was but the potentiality is there it's there and we need to be thinking that we live in the 21st century right these the military is 20 years ahead of what they even tell us about the technology that they have they're at least 20 years advanced from what they tell us about and what we saw in turkey we could see in america we could see in Alaska and we could see along the West Coast in places like California where entire cities crumbled, entire sections of the earth opened up 50 feet wide, 100 feet wide, impassable sections of earth that opened up and were displaced, entire roads that were displaced moved over 20 feet, literally rolled a road over 20 feet and you can see it because the road used to be straight and now it's over here all right this is what we could see in the united states and it would be devastating especially if it hit the west coast there are so many people that live there and they're not prepared they're not prepared most of them right there are a lot of people on the west coast that are prepared but i mean these mega cities like la or san francisco these high density mega cities where most people are not practicing preparedness. I know there's a lot of people in California and out west that practice preparedness. But in these mega cities, they're not going to be ready. Not going to be ready at all. Okay? And if you mix this with a tsunami, it's over. It's over. We could have cities permanently ruined if a big enough one hits and there's enough displacement and this crowd in that I was showing earlier. All right, this, there's a North American crowd in, and then there's a deformed crowd in, and then there's this belt that's part of it as well that makes up like Nevada, California, Washington, that part of Mexico over there. That's part of the deformed crowd in, and that's the part that could potentially, it's very unstable. And once you get west of like Colorado, and Nevada once you start get west of Utah then that's where we could see mass flooding from these tsunamis we could see major inland flooding if there's deformations and sinking of the ground and the land near these areas all right we could see total changes of the topography in these regions and areas completely covered by water all right, so make sure you're getting prepared, guys. Please hit it up for me down there. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Posting multiple videos a day, keeping you guys updated, telling you guys what they're getting ready for, what they're getting prepared for. There were new rules just being put in place by our government, new restrictions just put in place starting today. All right, I just posted about that earlier. Go check out that video because it's spreading, guys. It's spreading. And they, they were just warning top CDC officials. She was saying that she's getting ready for what's coming next, for the next thing. That's the quote. We're getting prepared for the next thing. That's the quote from a top CDC official. And they just implemented new rules and restrictions around that. All right, so go check out that video. Make sure you are getting prepared, getting ready, getting stocked up. Because if this happens, the grid's going to be out. West Coast grid, if we see this hit this region in Alaska, the grid's going to be completely out in Alaska. It's going to be wiped out, especially hitting 
near Anchorage and these areas where the main population centers are, the grid's going to be gone. There's already not much of a grid there. It's going to be wiped out. So they're going to be without power for months, potentially. So if you're in this region, definitely get prepared. Definitely have your stockpile ready to go. Have a generator. Have solar. Have it all. Have a multitude of different ways to keep yourself alive and keep yourself ready for what's coming next, right? U.S. military, National Guard, everyone's getting ready for this, getting prepared for this. And they're saying these disasters bring chaos, right? It's true. So thank you guys. I hope you have big blessings for your life, your family, and I hope you have a big old blessed day.